All right, guys. So anyway, I got the radio cleaned up. I had some stuff that came in the mail, and I hadn't had a chance to mess with it. Um, let's see here. Sometimes these. Don't want to open. Okay. So I got this battery charger. Yeah. All right. So. Um. So, this is supposed to be able to do 18650s and all that other kind of stuff. And, um, it was like uh, 17 or $18. So, I wanted something that would tell me, you know, the percentage. So, um, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. So... comes in a little pouch gimmicky thing like a plasticky cloth bag so um, cool so basically this has a uh, they had two versions they had one that had this and they had one that had a USB plug and um, it does have a USB but it's a USB to that so you could technically use uh, one of these with 5 volts at um, 2 amps, I think. 5 volt 2.1. So, uh, I haven't seen these cords before, so I don't know how hard it is to get a replacement. But, obviously you'll have other opportunities to charge it using one of these instead. I just, I don't like how everything's going to... Uh, you know, they try and do 2 amp USB. I just feel like a 2 amp USB, you know, um, has some inherent flaws. So, the availability is the only reason to use the USB. So, let me see what I did with my USB block. Okay. I don't know what this one is. It was for a really big Asus Zen phone that had like a huge battery. So technically it's supposed to have the capacity to run something like that. So what we want to do here is I've got some batteries I want to charge. So here we go. So it's on. Let me move this over here. So when I, I, I saw another one after I ordered this, I was like, oh man, I got the wrong one. So it actually had like an ESR meter on it. Okay. So, let's go ahead and put one of these old batteries that I've had problems with before. Just see what it does. Okay, it identifies it as nickel metal hydride. I don't know, um, to hit that button to charge it, or is it just not going to do anything? Okay. Well, I think it's actually charging it. And I think the middle shows me that it's at 0.5 amps. And the voltage of each battery is 1.3. Um, I'm not 100% sure why the other thing's flashing, but um, what I think we'll do is we'll ahead and look at the manual when we watch this thing oh it says one okay um, I think these batteries are dead but I'm not 100% sure and they might even be ones I've had problems with so what some people said is with this charger you can bring back batteries that don't want to work so that's pretty cool 
So I'm looking at the manual, and it's in like seven different languages, which is kind of cool. English, Dutch, French, uh, Italian, and Japanese, Spaniel, Turkey, Russia, Polsky, and I don't know what else. So it says... Hmm. Dutch. English. Um, introduction. Charging ion uh, nickel metal hydride batteries at the same time with different suitable charging methods. Okay. So it lists, like, you know, all the different battery types that it will charge. So... Constant current 0.5 amps times 4, 1 amp by 2. So, when you have them both on this side, it's only going to charge by half an amp. But if you put the other one in channel 4, it'll charge at 1 amp. So, from what I understand, this thing's very slow to charge, but that's the magic about it. So, I guess the newer chargers are extremely aggressive. And so, you know, batteries that might be in poor shape might explode. And with this, it gently charges them, helping you bring a battery back. That's what I've heard. Okay, so anyway, it says the um, cutoff voltage is 4.2 plus or minus 0 0.05 volts, 1.45 plus or minus 0 0.1 volt. Cutoff current is equal to or less than 120 milliamps. Operating temperature is 0 to 40 degrees Celsius. Um, insert batteries. Revivable batteries will start charging within 10 minutes. Revivable. It's pretty interesting. Um, green means standby. Fully charged. Polarity reversed. Uh, red, self-examining, charging, activating, short circuit, no light, power supply, unconnected, warranty. 15-day uh, free replacement, 24 months free repair, uh, blah, blah, blah. Global sales and after sales email service at xtar.cc. U.S. email uh, service, uh, something anti-fake. Scratch the anti-counterfeiting label on the package. Or on the back side of the product to get a 18-digit code. Input the number into the query page on xtar.cc. Uh, warning, when the power supply is insufficient, the charger will reduce charging current correspondingly. Okay. Do not charge unsuitable batteries with the charger. Keep the charger away from humidity, water, excessive dust. Uh... Children should use the charger accompanied by an adult. Do not disassemble or use the charger if it is damaged. For an update of info, please visit xtar.cc. So that's the whole manual um, that I can see. The rest of it's just all um, the other languages. So it seems to be, like, in my opinion, pretty good product. I mean, the reviews on it on Amazon are extremely good. So. This would give us a chance to, like, you know, charge up our 18650s that we have without having a, you know, balanced charger. And then I could, like, maybe uh, get a holder for them and uh, make an 18650 battery pack. Um, and then have that, like, for, like, maybe just whatever experiments. Um, I actually... Wish I could, like, just make a flat battery pack. Like, even, like, something the size of this charger to, to go on the uh, bottom side of one of my radios, you know. I've got these lithium batteries that work great, but they're square or rectangular shaped, you know. And so something, like, in this form factor could be strapped to the bottom of a radio. Maybe um, when I get a 3D printer, I could print, like, a 3D, you know, thing and um, do it like that. So, um, 
but yeah, so far, I, I think that this is probably um, pretty good. Let me see if I could add another battery laying around here. Um, maybe we'll even put it in something we're not supposed to. And just uh, see what it'll do. I had thought that I had um, the battery out here that I wasn't able to charge a rechargeable. And I'm not seeing it now. Um, let me look. Where would it have went? So. And when you get done charging these, you'll know the um the full capacity of the battery which is what i kind of wanted it for because they got batteries that aren't behaving correctly and i was wondering if maybe it was something to do with that i wonder if i could charge those really weird three volt short batteries um out of the uh old uh camera I wonder what I did with them. I have to go here, over here and look and see if they're on the table. Can't find my marbles. Where'd my marbles go? Okay, I've lost my marbles. They're nowhere to be found. I got no marbles. Oh, I found them. Okay. They don't look like they're going to fit. They look like they're probably too short. These are lithium. Really, really short cell. Camera battery. Um, what are these called a CR2? Yeah. I, I mean, you probably could. If you put like a spacer in here. Um, let's try something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise up the camera so we can get a better view while I do something goofy. Let's see if it'll, it didn't work. Okay, let's try like this. It's possible it's not making contact right here. Try this one. Oh, look at that. So I'm not sure how it's reading these now. I think it like doubled them. So let's see if we can get this other thing to work. 
We'll just put, um, a bolt in there, like I just showed you. Good lord, don't do it. Alright, I'm gonna find something different. A little bit bigger. Um, okay. We're just gonna wait a while and see if it recognizes the other battery. It looked like it just didn't want to recognize it at all. And it's absolutely possible that it's just too low to do anything to it. And I thought that I had had another one of these laying around somewhere. Because um, the camera came with two batteries and they don't work. These batteries, these CR2s, they're like $9 each or something crazy. So I'm not seeing the rest of the batteries that I did have. Um, but I don't think I would have thrown them out. I just put it somewhere and just had to figure out where that would be. But in the meantime, let's come back here and take a look and see if it's decided to do anything. I understand that it said it would take up to how long? 90 seconds, maybe it said. Let me see what the revivable batteries is what it said. Um, Uh, revivable batteries will start charging within 10 minutes. So you may have to leave something in there for 10 minutes. Let's see if these are getting warm. See, we just screwed it up. It's very... Apparently touchy. Let me see here. I'm gonna try putting uh, cough drop wrapper right here so that it has something to sit up on. He doesn't want to. I give up. <laughs> we'll, we'll try this one again later. Anyway, interesting battery charger. I'll put out a link in the description if you guys want to try one out.